Hello, everyone. This is Sister Teresa coming to you all with another word of encouragement, another motivational video for the body of Christ and for whoever may find this video. Brothers and sisters, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. According to Psalms 118 and verse 24. Hallelujah. God is so good and he is so faithful just for allowing us to wake up, live, breathe, and see one more day upon the earth. It is a blessing. Brothers and sisters, I would like to talk about the judgment that is coming upon this earth and upon this whole wide world. There shall be judgment as the word of God speaks of it, that there will be judgment and it is coming. It is rapidly approaching and it is going to happen. And I hope and pray that more souls it is my sincere prayer that more souls will come to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth before this judgment hits the earth in a mighty way. There will be great judgment upon this earth and we must be ready. We must be ready. Hallelujah. When the Lord comes for his bride, for his church, and we must be ready to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air, as the Word of God states in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18, that we shall be caught up, those of us who are ready, those of us who are saved, who have surrendered our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, who are living for the Lord, who are walking the straight and the narrow path, with Jesus Christ, as the word of God states that we must walk the straight and the narrow path, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And give our lives to the Lord. Repent of our sins. Repent, repent, repent. Repentance is required. God hates sin. He does not tolerate sin. Do not be deceived, brothers and sisters. We must repent of our sins and walk the straight and the narrow path. We have to walk out our salvation with fear and trembling, as the word of God states. This is serious. It is not a game. It is not a joke. We cannot continue to play church and expect to make it into heaven. This is a walk that we must take with the Lord Seriously, seriously, and live our life for the Lord. Do what he wants us to do. Think about would the Lord want you to do those things that you're doing? If you're doing something that you know it's not pleasing, would you? do you think the Lord would want you to be doing that? Whatever it is, whatever kind of willful sin it may be, Ask yourself, would Jesus want me to do this? And if the answer is no, you must repent and stop it. You can do it. Turn away from your sin. Just think about how the Lord died for your sins. And that should make it easier to repent and to seek the Lord now because he is so good, so faithful, and so long-suffering that it is not his will that any should perish, but that all, all will come to repentance because hell was not created for us. Hell was created for Satan and his angels and the demons, not for humans. But you will send yourself there. You will send your own self there by rejecting Jesus Christ, the one who created you, to reject him is to send yourself to hell and to the lake of fire where there is eternal separation from the Lord, eternal separation from grace and mercy, darkness, fire, brimstone. And it will be awful. 
And I hope and pray that you will come to the Lord today if you have not yet done so already, brothers and sisters, because destruction is coming upon this earth. Do not be deceived. Destruction is coming even to America. Destruction is coming. Some people think that nothing can touch America. You see these things happening in Russia and Ukraine, all over the place, Palestine. Huh? You see it happening over there. You think it can't happen here? Do not be deceived, brothers and sisters. Do not be deceived. Judgment is coming, and it's coming to America also, to the whole world. The word of God tells us that the world will be judged. I have scriptures, brothers and sisters. I would like to take you to Psalm verse 96, chapter 96. Excuse me, brothers and sisters. That's Psalm 96 at verse 13. And the word of the Lord reads, Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, he shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Hallelujah. Praise God for his word. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Another verse of scripture that talks about the Lord coming is in Matthew chapter 16 at verse 27. And the word of the Lord reads, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God for his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is so good, brothers and sisters. He is so good and so faithful, so patient and so long-suffering. It is not his will that any should perish, but that all shall come to repentance. Okay? And we must repent of our sins, as the word of the Lord states, that repentance and remission of sins must be preached throughout the whole world. Repentance, it's very important, brothers and sisters. And to have that relationship with Jesus, develop a relationship with him because he cares for you. He cares for you. He is your help. He is everything that you need. He is everything you need. And he is more than enough. His blood is more than enough. He did it all. And he did it all for you and for me and for the whole wide world. That he came, he was born of a virgin. He was brutally crucified. He gave his life freely as the sacrificial precious lamb slain for the sins of the world, for the sins of mankind. And then after three days, he rose again, conquering death and hell. And he is alive forevermore. And he did that so that we could have eternal life with him. And if you believe on Jesus, if you believe in his death, burial, and resurrection, hallelujah, the word of God says that you shall be saved. Believe and be saved and repent of your sins. It doesn't stop at just believing. You must repent. You have to repent. Stop sinning. Don't trample over the Lord's blood and do not take him for granted, thinking you can just continue to do everything you want to do and take advantage of the Lord. That is not what he wants. Have a relationship with him. Don't take advantage of him because he loves you so much. If you love him, you would want to do his will and walk in his ways. You would want to do things that will make him happy, just like a good father. He's our good father. He's our father. We want to please him. We want him to be proud of us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Jesus loves you. Brothers and sisters, I have another verse of scripture. It can be found in 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. 
and the word of the Lord reads, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God for his word. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? Huh? Huh? Did the righteous, the righteous shall be scarcely saved? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the ungodly and the sinner appear? You see how we must live holy before the Lord. We must live holy. Do not be deceived. Walk the straight and the narrow path. Live holy before the Lord Jesus Christ. Live your life according to the way the Lord would want you to live. And you know what that is. You know you would not want to sin against him to trample over his blood anymore. Deny sin, take up your cross, and walk with the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For the word of the Lord states, the word of the Lord states, brothers and sisters, Hallelujah. In Matthew, in Matthew, the word of the Lord states in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. And verse 14 reads, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Hallelujah, glory to God. That proves that we must walk the straight and the narrow path, brothers and sisters. Do not be deceived in this season. Time is short. There is no time. There is no time to play, to play church, to play around in sin, to straddle the fence. There's no time for that. You must choose a side in this hour. The Lord is saying, choose a side. You must choose if you're going to serve the Lord or you're going to serve the devil. One or the other. No more straddling the fence. The way is straight and narrow. And the word of God says that few shall find it. You know why few shall find it? Because people are don't want to give up their sin. They don't want to give it up. They do not want to live for the Lord, but they want all the benefits of Jesus. They want all the benefits of being called a child of God, of being saved, but they don't want to do anything for the Lord. That is why few shall find it. But the way, make no mistake about it, is straight and it is narrow. Hallelujah, glory to God. Do not be deceived into thinking, hallelujah, believing a lie instead of the truth. Read your word, brothers and sisters, for the way is straight and narrow, and few there be that find it. Why do you think he said that? Jesus said this. I'm reading from the King James Version, and this is Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 to 14. Please read it for yourself, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is so good. He is so good. He is good. He always, he always will be good. So I hope and pray that this word blesses you and that you will know that judgment is coming. Hallelujah. And God is not playing. He is not playing around. Repent of your sins. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ today, today while you have breath in your lungs and you are alive to do so because tomorrow is not promised. Let me tell you, it's not promised to you or me or anybody else. The rapture of the church will happen and it can happen any moment. Nothing else has to happen before the rapture of the church and it will happen because God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. 
as the word of God states in Numbers 23, verse 19. But God's word is true. It is true. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I hope and pray that this video finds whoever it needs to find and that you are led by the Lord to repent and to seek the Lord now if you have not yet done so. And it's my sincere prayer that all will come to repentance and all will be saved and delivered from their sins and iniquity. Hallelujah. Glory to God so that we can all enter in to the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, be blessed, be encouraged, and never forget that Jesus loves you. And so do I. God bless.